Uh, so where did you first learn about cordyceps? Like, how old were you? Uh, cordyceps has sort of just been a fungus that I've known about for a long time. I learned about it when I was a teenager. I think it was a documentary I saw talking about weird mushrooms. Actually, thinking about it, it was probably a documentary about insects and it was very much focusing on how cordyceps is like this zombie virus, but for insects. Uh, it makes them do things and then kills them. I'm kind of surprised that uh, it was when you were a teenager. I kind of thought it would have been when you were younger. No, 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 no. So what caused your interest in mushrooms? That's complicated. I've always really liked mushrooms as a food source, mostly. Finding out that there are so many different kinds of mushrooms that are available to just harvest out in the wild by yourself, if you know what you're looking for. It's wild and it's really exciting. I really enjoy the whole aspect of never knowing what it is until you can research it. So I enjoy that a lot. Like spore prints and stuff. Yeah, I enjoy taking spore prints. I enjoy comparing samples between different fungus that I've encountered in the past. Comparing what I've noticed with what other people in the area have noticed. Because obviously I'm not the only person who's <laughs> into mushrooms. Does it make you think about death at all? I suppose it does. Um, you mean cordyceps specifically? Mm -hmm. I think those actually in a strange way, make me think of rebirth more than death. Although it is the death of the organism, the the creature that carries the parasite, it is the rebirth cycle of the of the mushroom. Because that's what it is. It, it infects, yes, and then it takes over. But then it matures and gets to a point where it can grow further and then it spreads into more insects it's so for me it's less about death and more about the cycle of rebirth To make a spore print, cut the stem off a mushroom and place the mushroom gill side down on some paper or aluminum foil. Drip some water on the cap of the mushroom before covering it with a glass or bowl. After a few hours, take the bowl and mushroom away and you're left with your very own spore print. Happy foraging!